Good morning, students. Hope you are doing great. This is Dr. B. Tulasi, working as Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Vidyan Srinivasan Institute of Technology and Sciences, Government, Palakkad. In the last class, we have seen few topics of first unit. They are introduction to object-oriented analysis and design, the structure of the complex systems, the inherent complexity of the software, attributes of the complex system. These are the topics which we have seen in the last class. And in today's session, we are going to cover few more topics. They are organized and disorganized complexity, bringing order to chaos, designing complex systems, evaluation of object model, foundation of object model, elements of object model, applying the object model. And coming to the session, coming to the next topic, applying the object model. Object model introduces several new elements which are advantages over traditional method of structured programming. Here we study three topics: benefits of the object model, applications of the object model, and open issues. Coming to the benefits of the object model, it helps in faster development of the software. It means the object model is used for the faster development of the software. It is easy to maintain. We can maintain it easily. It supports relatively hassle-free upgrades, and it enables reuse of objects, designs, and functions. It reduces development risks, particularly in integration of the complex systems. And use of object model helps us to exploit the expressive power of object-based and object-oriented programming. Without the application of elements of object model, more powerful feature of languages such as C++, Pascal, Ada are either ignored or greatly misused. Use of object model encourages the reuse of software and entire designs which results in the creation of reusable application framework. Use of object model produces systems that are built upon stable intermediate forms. which are more resilient to change it means which are very hard to change object model appears to the working of human cognition many people who have no idea how a computer works find the idea of object oriented systems quite natural so this is regarding the benefits of the object model next coming to the applications of the object model the object model has proven applicable to a wide variety of problem domains many of the domains for which system exist that may properly be called object oriented the bibliography provides an extensive list of references to those and other applications object oriented analysis and design may be the only method we have today that can be employed to attack the complexity inherent in the very large systems in all fairness however the use of object oriented development may be ill advised for some domains not for any technical reasons but for non technical ones such as absence of the suitable trained staff or a good development and neuronics coming to the applications in the a traffic control here in the a traffic control for developing the designs we use this object model in the animations we use this object model in the business or insurance software it means to build a business or insurance software also first of all we will build the uh, models by using this object model and uh, business data processing applications cad computer aided designing databases expert systems office automation robotics and uh, telecommunications telemetry systems etc these are the applications of the object model and uh, coming to the next topic that is open issues to effectively apply the elements of object model we must next address several open issues so the open issues which we have discussed here are what exactly are classes and objects here for every system what are the classes and what are the objects that we need to exactly mention and next one is how does one properly identify the classes and objects that are relevant to a particular application for a particular application we need to identify which are the classes which are the objects sometimes we may we may not identify the classes which are very crucial that is one of the issue next one is what is a suitable notation for expressing the design of an object oriented system so which notation we need to use for designing this object oriented system this is one of the issues what process can lead us to well structured object oriented design so 
uh, what the process we need to follow for designing a well structured object oriented system that is one of the issues what are the management implications of using object oriented design so management implications also should be considered in the issues of the while designing the object model next these are the topics which we have covered till now hope you understood the topics well but let's have a quick recap about the topics what we have gone through in today's session coming to the organized and disorganized complexity we have gone through two important steps first one is the canonical form of a complex system it means how we need to simplify a complex system second one is the limitation of the human capacity for dealing with the complexity it means the inabilities of the or limitations of the humans that we have studied here and next coming to the next topic that is bringing order to chaos in that we have gone through the rule of abstraction rule of hierarchy rule of decomposition in the decomposition we have studied two more decompositions first one is algorithmic decomposition second one is the object oriented decomposition in the both decomposition we have finally came to came to a conclusion that object oriented decomposition is the best method to use next we have studied the another topic that is designing complex systems here we have seen the five elements of designing a complex systems first one is engineering as a science and an art second one is the meaning of design and next one is importance of model building and next we have seen the elements of the software design methods and next we have seen the models of object oriented development and the next topic we have covered is the evolution of the object model in the evolution of the object model we have seen the evolution of the languages how the first generation second generation till the last generation of the languages we have seen in this topic next coming to the foundations of the object model the object model represents an evolutionary development in the programming languages but not a revolutionary one that is the uh, thing which we have learned in the object model in this we have seen the object oriented analysis object oriented design and object oriented programming next we have seen the seven elements of object oriented here we have seen the seven elements of this model in this we have seen four major elements and three minor elements the first four major elements are abstraction encapsulation modularity and hierarchy and the three minor elements of the object model are typing concurrency and persistence and next topic we have seen is the applying the object model here we have seen the three points benefits of the object model applications of the object model and the open issues which we have seen today and uh, now coming to the this part of the session and here i have given some questions those are which among the following is the best to define the abstraction hide the implementation showing the important data hiding the important data hiding the implementation and showing the only features what is the answer coming to the second one dash is the property that distinguishes an active object from one that is next coming to the dash is a property of an system that has been decomposed into set of cohesive and loosely coupled modules so what is next what is complexity so next one is mention few applications of object model we have seen in the last topics what are the major elements of object models what are the minor elements and uh, if you answer all these questions i hope that you have understood the class well if you have any doubts go back and play the video so that you will better understand and you can answer all the questions given in the quiz thank you so much let's meet in the next session till then have a safe day follow sms that means sanitizers masks and social distancing thank you